or over to the ESCOM Science Expo. The ESCOM Expo for Young Scientists is South Africa's only science fair for school students. These guys have all made it through their regional rounds and now they are battling it out for the top prizes, some of which include international opportunities. with Fati Chetty, who is the executive director of the ESCOM Expo for Young Scientists. It's such a great buzz here. If you could summarize it and put it all into a snippet, what happens at the Expo? The ESCOM Expo for Young Scientists has been running for 35 years. We create a platform for the young innovative scientists in our schooling system to show off the scientific research. And the key thing is the innovation that is coming out of these young minds is just mind-blowing. So we give them an opportunity to showcase, to be judged by experts, and to win some great prizes. Tell me how this fits in with government's STEM strategy, which has now been slightly rebranded and is actually known as the STEMI strategy. STEM is, a, is an international acronym for science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. The Expo is part of government's STEMI strategy. We have the Department of Science and Technology, the Department of Basic Education, and the Department of Public Enterprises. All three departments investing in Expo and actively supporting this activity because we are serving a purpose that's going to benefit our country's critical skills. So tell me a little bit more about the winners that are going to be announced and the international and local achievements that will come from this. I think the biggest achievement for us is that we are reaching more schools than we've ever done in the past. We then have nine full-time provincial coordinators. They go out, recruit schools and train them. So that is key for us, is building capacity at that level. The winners from these regional expos come up to the International Science Fair that you see here today. So in other words, the brightest kids in the country are under this roof for this week. And they're all going for very, very special awards where we hand over all these university bursaries, we have special awards for international trips, laptops and so on. Wits University stepped up with 500,000 rand worth of bursaries. University of Pretoria stepped up with 150,000 rand. So we will then select the ambassadors that we're going to compete internationally in five different science fairs over 2016. So these kids are really going to look forward to going internationally and representing Expo and South Africa. So if we give these learners the opportunity to compete among the best, they are winning. Incredible winning indeed. Thank you so much for chatting to us, Parthi. This is definitely one giant step for mankind and a ginormous step for young sciences. Well, now we are chatting to two heavyweights associated with this expo. Deva, I'm going to start with you and just find out why did ESCOM get involved with this expo? One of the reasons is that uh, a lot of people don't realize that ESCOM is actually a technological company. Electricity is all about technology, but technology on its own cannot operate if you don't have people and you don't have skilled people. So we had to invest in the future of ESCOM. We had to develop young people so that they actually take over from our aging profile as well. So we develop people from very young, from the school, and uh, we actually nurture them through the high school and uh, through university. And then hopefully they end up in ESCOM, or a shareholder department of public enterprises in the basic education department and department of science and technology. We support them in terms of developing young people, especially in the fields of science. So whatever we train, and whatever we uh, give people development, whatever we can't absorb, we give to the broader economy. But starting off with this program was uh, a start for us. It's our flagship sponsorship program, the biggest sponsorship that we have. And we're actually very proud to be part of this program. Peter, once the expo is all said and done, what happens with recruitment and these young minds being put into jobs at ESCOM? Well, certainly ESCOM does recruit from this, um, but I want to take your question a little bit wider than just ESCOM. You have, this year we have 575 of the top young minds here. What better opportunity for any organization to come and recruit here? And that's why you see a lot of the universities being here, because they offer bursaries 
to go out and study in, in, in science, technology, engineering, maths, innovation, and so on. So it is really the best place to come and recruit future um, students. Love your work, Jens. Thank you so much for chatting to us. And that just goes to show never, ever underestimate the big power of a small idea.